Okay, here are a couple of things we can do over our F chord. First, there's uh, this one's pretty simple, a hammer on there at the third string or the second fret. And again, similar to our C chord with a hammer on, we're only adding a note with the left hand right here on the third string. But the right hand pattern stays the same. We're just adding that note with the left hand. It sounds like this. You can walk up to that note, for example, coming from the C chord. Fall, falling back into the pattern. That roll starts kind of in a different spot because we have to compensate for that extra note in there. It sounds like this. Then the forward roll comes in beginning with the thumb at the fifth string. Like that and we work right back into our rhythm pattern. Play that up to speed just a little bit, give you a better idea what it should sound like. Then if you're using the four fingered chord, which I recommend, um, you get a little more be the intermediate player and get onto those. One you can do in F is walk up on the four string to your F note right there uh, and then we fall back into the rhythm pattern let's see how that goes it's the same as the other walk up we're just walking up with the thumb now instead of the index finger and of course on the fourth string instead of the third string is three notes here the walk up and then that forward roll beginning on the fifth again. And then back into our pattern. After I fall back into the pattern, I'm not using the four string. We're just playing that one walk up. And there's a few things you can play in the F chord.